It's hard to believe, but it's only been a couple of years since we've launched DBQ Online. And already, on any given school day, thousands of students all around the country are engaging with our interactive platform. For us, it's been a thrill to see how easily teachers and their students have taken to online learning. Yet from the start, our goal was never to replace, but rather to facilitate and enhance what teachers and students had already discovered in our print version. And that is getting kids to write more clearly, argue more persuasively, to read more closely, to dialogue with each other, and to use evidence-based approaches to solving problems. We don't want to create anything that gets in the way of the student or the teacher. So we really want to create something that helps them to focus on the task at hand and allowing them to you know, work through the assignment. And it's the reasoning that's important, it's the thinking that's important. To that end, DBQ Online includes several powerful tools that help students do the close reading, analysis, and writing at the heart of our program. These include the ability to annotate text with arrows, highlighting, sticky notes, buckets, and telestration. To find the definition of any word or explanation of a key term or concept, to enlarge maps, graphs, and other images. To hear documents and background essays read aloud. When we went up the river in the morning, it was just about light. To customize assignments. To differentiate material per each student's needs. Integrating scaffolding directly into the instructional flow. And to help students build their essay step by step making it possible to complete a paperless DBQ unit. From the hook exercise to writing, from the background essay to bucketing, the entire DBQ process remains an immersive, intuitive, integrated, and user-friendly experience. It just feels like it's part of a continuum of thought that leads you to a particular place with a reasoned argument. And it's a natural experience, not something that they're fighting their own instincts uh, and creative thoughts. It's so easy now to add an annotation, change the color, select or deselect. You also have right there in the palette the ability to go in and increase the text font size uh, up or down and we have a brand new copy button that will allow a student or a teacher to quickly copy the content of that annotation and paste it anywhere, whether it's in an essay field or a writing uh, document. And if there's any part of the process you don't quite have a handle on, or if you'd just like some new instructional strategies, we have a library of over 40 professional development videos available to online subscribers. These include longer overview videos, as well as more specific two-minute teaching tips that cover everything from interpreting numbers, to unpacking an image, to conducting a thrash out. With students and teachers viewing over 80 million pages of online content, making more than 8 million online annotations. We're constantly improving the interface based on their and your classroom needs. The feedback that we're getting from teachers is driving the changes we're making. For example, our first year we came out, teachers really wanted to be able to see student work in progress and to provide feedback, so we built in a feedback tool. This year, we've been moving more towards instructional supports where a teacher can mark up the text before they hand out the or push the assignment to the students. And again, we're just listening to what teachers are wanting. We're building these things into the system as they come. So now using our Manage and Feedback tool, teachers have the ability to go into a student's online account, see her work, and provide additional instruction. I think, you know, when you're right over a student's shoulder or you're really near to them when they're working, they kind of turn it on and they work really hard for you because they know that you're watching. And I think this is that this feature makes them realize that, you know, at any point I can pull this up and look and see what they accomplished during that time that they had and kind of gives them that internal thing of thinking like, oh, she's, she's going to be looking at my work, so I want to do my best. You can also use this feature to selectively demonstrate a student's work to the whole class. So for example, because I can call up, say, Jessica's work, we can project it to the class, look at how she's interrogating a document, and use it as, an, as a teaching aid uh, to kind of model document analysis. This is something that's come directly from the users of DBQ Online. They're telling us they're doing it, and we're just thrilled. Now it can be, uh, you can make student work visible to the whole class, not just provide feedback. We've also added four interactive rubrics 
With two of these, students can evaluate and comment on their own work before they send it to their teacher. And the teacher can likewise provide her assessment, fostering an active, ongoing dialogue. Above all, we want to help teachers make a unit truly their own. In addition to customizing and differentiating the material, you'll now get a prompt asking if you want to include teacher instructions. This allows teachers to mark up a unit before students begin working on it, posting sticky notes, inserting reminders, or reframing a question. So for example, a teacher might want to put on a document, get with a partner, talk to them, examine the source, why is the date specifically important? So I have a sticky note here that asks them to include hashtag summaries, which are kind of like a play on Twitter or Instagram hashtags, where the students will put a hashtag symbol and then one or two words that summarize that paragraph. I also have used the circle tool and the square tool um, to remind them to circle the dates and to put squares around the different places in the background essay to kind of help draw their attention to those important details. Using the layers tool, students can either view or hide the teacher annotation layer. Um, but then I also show them how to turn them off so that that won't interfere with the notes and the things that they leave. Finally, teachers have asked for the ability to include a co-instructor. You can now give a student teacher or a substitute or a team teacher either full or limited access to a class. If I'm sitting there next to a, a first year teacher who's never taught a DBQ, I could be invited to the class see what they're doing, provide feedback to the actual teacher, and maybe just be a support. We're excited about all of these teacher-driven changes, and we're going to keep on listening, constantly improving the online experience. It's been a lot of fun making this leap online. And if you haven't yet given DBQ Online a try, let us know. Yeah, we're definitely here. We're excited to show you DBQ Online, and we'd love to do a demo. We look forward to hearing from you.